Oh my god, we probably just got the most exciting leak ever in War Thunder. Here's everything we need to know. These are the high probability nations that will be coming to the game. North Korea under China, South Korea under the United States, Switzerland going to Germany, Iran going into Russia, and then a new Polish tech tree that includes Eastern European tech trees. This includes Poland, Ukraine, Slovakia, Serbia, Slovenia, Croatia, and the Czech Republic. Also, there is another European subtree that is unannounced and has been delayed. As for the confirmed information that we know, we could be getting Singapore and Indonesia going to China. The Eurofighter has been delayed to 2025. The FA-18C is going to Germany, so is the F-5E. The F-22 has been worked on and by extension so has Generation 5 stealth aircraft. South African helicopters are coming to Great Britain. The 9K-33 OSA variants are now being considered for the next major update. Cluster bombs and guidance reworks are in the works. Multiple FA-18Cs are coming to the game apparently, although it looks like they're skipping the A variants. The JS Yabutso looks to be coming to the game. What's interesting about this type of ship is that it was actually launched in 2023 and it's a very modern ship. A ground tree that would have been split in half post-World War II and pre-World War II was actually canceled. We're also looking at an unconfirmed F-117 event. Finally, this is probably the worst part of any of these leaks, but ammo cost is poised to increase by the first quarter of 2025. That will be placed around probably the second major update of 2025. And there's also an economy rework in 2025 for a global nerf of up to 50% less SL gain. But as always, this is an unconfirmed leak, so take everything I just said with a grain of salt.